I'd like to welcome everybody that's here. Uh, the mayor's here. We have the uh, chair of the BOAC committee is here. Our, our local uh, designer is here, and, and our contractor's here. Our project management firm representatives are here, um, as, as well as uh, others that, that we'll introduce today. Uh, the Wildlife Theater uh, that we're here for ground, groundbreaking is uh, one of the many quality of life bond projects that are coming to the zoo. It's part of our citizen voted $50 million improvements for the zoo uh, and we're only able to grow and get better at the zoo because of our community support. We're very, very pr uh, proud to be able to respond to the wishes of the community in asking for um, expanded experiences and more animals at the zoo. Uh, the, the best thing about this uh, program that we're going to have in the wildlife theater is that we've never offered this type of experience at the zoo before. You can go to other zoos and go to their flighted bird show uh, amphitheaters and, and uh, we're, we're going to have that here uh, at the uh, El Paso Zoo. It's going to be able to seat about 300. There'll be a shade canopy over it and there'll be a holding for animals and, and support facilities also. Um, again, the main thing that this does, it, it gives another type of opportunity for our guests and our visitors to connect with nature. And that's really what our mission is here at the El Paso Zoo. The programming and, and operating costs for uh, this um, uh, center that we're going to have is uh, provided to us through a generous grant to the zoo through the Zoological Society and our society executive director will um, expound on that just a little bit. And uh, that's uh, Renee Newert, and she's up next. Thank you, Steve. Thank you for everyone for coming out this morning. You know, the zoo is more than a place to see wildlife. This is a place to connect to nature, as Steve said, and experience adventure. The Wildlife Theater will provide um, an incredible bird show. Um, and this venue also provides opportunities. These opportunities are possible through the generous donations of leaders in our community. As the stage sponsor for the Wildlife Theater, Paul and Alejandra Foster have made a generous donation to the Zoological Society for three years of animal programming in the Wildlife Theater. We truly appreciate and thank them for their generous support. And now let me introduce another community leader and generous donor to the Zoological Society, Mayor Oscar Leeser. You know, um, as I looked around, I got a little worried. I didn't, my hat may be a little soft here, but uh, I think I'll be all right. I, I, um, I want to thank everybody for coming here, but really this is a project that was voted on by the voters, the public. The public voted on in 2012, the quality of life on, which was, you know, over 70% of the, the community voted to improve the quality of life, quality of place for our community. And this theater is no exception that uh, will bring a, a great uh, amenities, not only to children, but to adults in our community. So I'm very honored to be representing the voters that uh, felt that this was really important to our community to bring forward and to enhance the life of not only children but also adults because I know when I come here I probably have more fun than the kids so I, um, I'm excited to see that we're moving forward with the projects of uh, the quality of life on and we'll continue to do so as we roll out the, the, the next steps moving forward thank you and uh, ready to move forward One. Two, three. 